Hey, Internet! Praise be to God, and I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. Today, we are in the Kremwood Forest, and we're going to tackle Riverside Race. This is a very unique level. Basically, it's kind of a race to the end, where there's like a best personal score. If you can beat that best score, you will actually get a prize later on in the world. Also, you're being chased by flies that damage you if you get touched by them, so you gotta be fast on this level. So yeah, you see Brash's record down there? Yeah, you gotta beat that. Oh, well, you don't have to. I, on this first playthrough, I'm just gonna try to get everything. Also, very different music underwater than above water. Kind of a nice touch. Oh darn it. This is the first level I believe you need to utilize Kitty Collins' bounce on the water technique. Ah, still not enough. I'll have to come back there with a DK barrel. If that's possible with the flies chasing me. Split time! I love the underwater music on this level. So peaceful. So we gotta get away from the flies. I know you can get up there. My apologies, I'm still very bad with Kitty Collins' bounce move. You gotta time the jump button just right. Ah, so close. Kitty Kong? Kitty Kong, darn are you! Kitty Kong? It's hard because you can't see the water until it's too late. Okay, can you do it from the other side, maybe? Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you gotta do it from this side. Still tricky, but less so. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Collect 15 bananas! Watch out for the clownfish in the middle. And yeah, that's the incredibly long bonus fail sequence you have to watch. Thankfully, it drops us right back next to the bonus barrel, so if you fail, no big deal. Yeah, these banana missions are just kind of tedious. Not especially hard, just like not fun. Constantly having to jump over the clownfish. Oh well. Do love that bonus clear theme. All right. Rest of the level should be a bit easier. Yeah, there's no way to go up there right? like that. There also is at least one invisible item under the water. So be on the lookout for that. Oh, 
Oh, blast. At least the DK Buddy Barrel will have regrown, I believe? Yeah, okay. Yep. Invincibility! This means we can actually ki jump on and kill these red buzzers. I forgot Invincibility can kill red buzzers as well as TNT. Okay, gotta watch out for these guys. Their jumping can catch you off guard if you're not careful. And there's still the matter of the coin. Okay, nope. I was wondering if the coin was up there. Okay, the coin's on the other side. And no, it does not take this long to do the level normally. I'm just, well, kind of an idiot. Oop, did Stupid bugs. Stupid! What the heck? You know what? It'll save my bonus barrel progress, and I can start from the checkpoint this way. It does not reset your time, however. Nor should it. It resets your time back to the time you had when you hit the checkpoint. Those bugs can be extremely annoying and uncooperative at times. And you can't even kill them with your invincibility. Which doesn't really seem right. Oh well. K-O-N-G, calm! Yes, you know- What? The- The bugs materialized in front of me. Man, this level is a lot more annoying than I remember. You have to use Kitty Kong's drop bounce for like all of the secrets. Man, those bugs are so annoying. Who knew bugs were the strongest enemy in the entire game? Alright, just to be safe, I'm turning into Dixie Colin, so if the bugs materialize in front of me again, she'll take the hit. Cog. Oh, wouldn't you know it. There we go. Well, that's annoying. Gotta throw it up in order to actually hit him in the back. That is not the new record! But I don't care, we beat it 100%. We'll come back to that level later. I've had enough of it for now. We're gonna do Squeals on Wheels. The last mill level in the game. Sad. So the gimmick of this level, there are rats in little hamster wheels. You gotta kill them in order to open the doors. Doesn't s super make sense, but eh, I'm okay with it. Also, you can jump on the hamster wheels. And more often than not, there are some secrets on top of them that you might be interested in. That's where Dixie Colton helps, because she holds it above her head. Whoosh! Take that, squeal.
Thank goodness the steel kegs respawn. So as you can see that trap door, it's got a padlock on it, so we actually can't open it. Yet. Also, you might be wondering how the heck to open that door. That'll come into play later. That's right, this level's actually a little bit of a maze where you come back to earlier parts. Seriously, the mill music is so good. It doesn't super fit with the theme of the mill, but it's really awesome music. Like, it would probably be better for a different themed level, but it's in the game, so I'm not complaining. Climb up here. That is the way we are supposed to go. No to that. We jump on this wheel. Bonus barrel. Collect 20 stars! That's an easy bonus game. Much easier than the one of the rotating Zaners in uh, Doorstop Dash. Thankfully, it remembers which rats you've killed in the wheels. Because again, you have to kill all of the rats in the wheels in order to progress for the next door. And another bonus barrel just by jumping up on those wheels. Of course, it's a banana game. This one's like exactly like the star game. Just more annoying. If you get luckies and the bananas just keep spawning on you, that's actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, that rarely happens. Oh, it skipped my favorite part of the song. Which is the Royal 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 And also, like, just look at those high resolution backgrounds. Just fabulous. That can be a bit tricky to get for Dixie Calm. Kitty Calm makes it a bit easier because he doesn't hold it above him. Automatic launcher barrels! Grand. Take that. Woo. Also, you cannot kill the rats without using a barrel of some kind. This one can be a bit tricky. Last one. So we go for this door, and if we jump on this padlock, we break it and fall all the way back down to the bottom of the level. I think that's pretty cool. And now we can go through here. This introduces the most annoying power uh, animal buddy in the game, Perry the Parallel Bird. Perry the Parallel Bird does nothing for you. All he does is collect prizes that are higher up, and he dies in one hit and can't really kill anything. Also, you pretty much have to take him to the animal, like the no animal allowed sign at the end if you want good rewards. So, we have to jump in order to kill that guy, because otherwise Perry the Par Parallel Bird would die. Likewise, we need to jump here to avoid him get hitting that red buzzer. And for that, we get three lives. So you don't have to do it, but on some levels, you do, because of the prize he leaves behind. More on that later on in the game. Alright. Oh, we did not get the DK coin on that level. Huh. Yeah, Swanky, you don't have any new stuff. And by that, I mean you don't have a new, uh, banana bird. Alright, I, I want to find the DK coin, at least.
All right, here we go. Goodbye. All right, time for the next level, Barrel Shield Bust Up. This is the normally the first level in the world if you're playing the Super NES version. I think it's quite a bit harder than Spreading Spiders, though, so... I am glad that they made the switch. So the main gimmick here, there are these annoying little monkeys that first pebbles at you, but there are these barrels that you can use as shields. You have to be... I believe you have to be... Yeah, you have to be facing away from the barrel in order to use it as a shield. And, of course, it gets a quite a bit harder as the game progresses. I mean, the level. Whoops. We already have the... Oh, that's kind of shocking to me. Whoop. Haha, <laughs> I got it. If you go down there, you can get yourselves a nice bear coin. TNT barrel in a tree. Blow up this part! The tree levels are very interesting. They're quite a bit different than the, uh, most other levels. For one, they're vertical. And for the other, you can, like, blow up parts of the level with TNT barrels, which is awesome! Bam! Okay, this level's a lot shorter and easier than I remember. I mean, never mind. Now the barrels move, which makes it a bit dip more difficult. Nice bear coin over there. Yes, the bear coins are worth your time and effort to get, because you need a lot of them. Too fast. Bother. And that is the annoying crying of Kitty Calm. At least it sounds like he's a toddler in this. In the Super Nintendo one, it does not sound like anything human crying. It's like, bah! I did not touch that pebble! Okay, I rest my case, this is harder than Spring and Spiders. TNT barrel over there, huh? Plus, the Spring and Spiders gimmick is in this level. At least right there. Okay, I think I missed something down here. Sure enough. Gotta use the team throw! And boom, DK coin. Glad we didn't miss another one. Do -do 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 -do. As fun as this game is, having to go back to levels just because you missed one little faint is not very fun. How did I not take a hit there? I guess that makes up for the time I did take a hit when I shouldn't have. Blow up that part of the wall. Do ourselves a little flippity do. And here we need to use Dixie Collins' power... a bit better than that. There we go! Collect ten bananas! Well, this is an annoying mission, isn't it? Especially when they keep appearing at the opposite ends of the course. That's nice if you can just get it, the banana to loop on the same spot over and over again. Like that? Yeah! Combo freeze always awesome. Okay, we only had to collect ten, so that's not too bad! Sweet. Also, I didn't mention it, but the DK Country Free is the only Game Boy Advance Donkey Kong Country game that does not have pictures of any kind to collect. Woot! 
And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in for the next episode. We will finish the Kremwood Forest, maybe do one of Funky's challenges, and probably start the next world. Have a great day, and God bless.